Hi, and welcome to Ally and Allie Talk About Books, where we talk about our favorite books. I'm Allie Louise. And I'm Allison Lynn. And today we have a special guest. Our Hello. friend, Lena. Hello. <laughs> Um, we share a lot of the same book interests, so this should be fun. Today, we are going to be talking about toxic relationships in books. Please do note that there will be a trigger warning on this video, as we will be talking about abusive relationships and just toxic relationships in general. If you get triggered by that, please click off of this podcast episode and come back next week. And um, we're also not just going to be talking about, like, romantic relationships also we're going to be talking about friends family and like self toxic relationships okay okay who should wants, we start with, who wants to start should we start with the big one tamlin and should we just get it out of the way yeah tamlin and farah <sighs> i'm gonna defend tamlin <laughs> you're gonna defend tamlin I mean, why are you gonna like, defend him he, he did some bad stuff and i get that i'm in but... the middle like don't we shouldn't have said that. I'm in the middle, but Allie's not, and Lena's just, not, so I don't know. <laughs> so you're the so you're the mediator of this. I'm the one in the middle. Okay, I'll, I'll okay, I'll ask a question. Allie, why do you not like Tamlin? Honest. Wait, wait, actually, he's just terrible. But why do you not like him? <laughs> I personally don't like him and like his actions to Farah and how he kind of oh, wait. Seemed... Pause. Actar warning, people. <laughs> actually, there's probably gonna be. A lot of spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers, but, spoilers throughout the whole entire book. So, not like major, maybe major ones. Who knows? But we'll try to remember. But if not, sorry. Okay. Keep going. I will say that I just love how he kind of thought he was right for like keeping Feyre trapped. And like, I remember when I was reading A Court of Mist and Fury, there's a scene where Lucian comes to Feyre's rescue. And he's like, Tamlin wants you back. After Feyre said, I don't want to be back. Like, she sent him a letter. Yeah, saying, she did. No, she I don't want to come. Basically said. Okay. Back to the spring court. Okay. Lena. Why do you defend him? Because I know a lot of people do, but it's so weird. Because, like, you either defend him or you hate him. Not many people are in the middle. I, um, I defend him because I just think there's a real lack of communication between the two of them. Um, he didn't do some uh he he wasn't he didn't make the best decisions he did some bad stuff but like also she didn't really express that to him very well and yeah she kind of just like up and left i know it's weird okay so like part of me thinks that yeah he did make some bad choices and we all do but the other part of me is like no he was absolutely evil but then he never really got a chance to redeem himself my biggest breaking point is when they're all at the high lords meeting and then he talks like he is being very offensive and he's like oh, talking yeah, he's about that yeah, yeah, prior yeah, yeah. active life oh my god in front of reese that's so like, bad i remember reading this and i'm like what the f- pg-13 no pg pg <laughs> what the frickity frack is happening um it just that was a low blow but everyone is mad out of a relationship okay We'll come back to Tamlin. I think we need to do, like, a redemption arc Tamlin episode. Tam- yeah. Does he deserve one? Does, yes or, no? or does he deserve a redemption arc? Eris deserves the redemption arc. Okay. Okay, okay. you okay. want something? We, should we just segue into Eris? <laughs> Lena is a large Eris fan. She really likes him. Why? Um, I, I mean... He's a villain. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that's, no, that's seriously like an answer, that's though. A, yeah. That is an answer. Uh, the, the more particular reason is because, like, he just kind of... He actually... He saved more from being into it, being brought into his family. I mean, he didn't do it in the best way. But he did it. He did it. He, he, did, he did deserves it. one. I think he'll get one. He better yeah. get... And he'll probably... um. <gasps> wait, hot take. What if... But what if Elaine and Eris end up together? That would no, be weird. No, 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 that would be bad. I think no, it should be more in Eris. No, I think Morris I think they're mates with... actually. That would make sense. That's that's my opinion. Wait, so Eris is like the hot yeah. but okay, but or Eris is gay, but <laughs> or more is no, no, actually more is bi. More is bi, but what about Emery? I'm, yeah, exactly. More and Emery I should love be together. Her. She's great. All three of them. I don't even know. What are they called? Do they, they're the, is it, is it, should they're they the Valkyrie. Valkyrie? The Valkyries. Valkyrie. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Did you? You read. Oh, yeah. You've definitely read you several read, times. Okay. Why did you ask that? I know. 
Mind blank. Um, okay. But, yeah, I love Gwen and Emery. I think they're great, and I think they're great for Nesta, too, so. And I feel like Emery and Moore should be together. Yeah, that would be cute. Everson Moore all the way. Everson <laughs> Moore all the way. What about Elaine? Okay, wait, we're getting way off topic here. Wait, actually, Elaine is just... Elaine is... Has many toxic... Elaine doesn't deserve anyone. Elaine... With herself. She's toxic <laughs> she's with herself. She's so depressed. No, no, no. Thing is, is that, like, her mom dies, and, she, like... She tries to be all happy, but her like her mom is like her mom was like okay. Her mom was probably one of the most toxic the, like parents ever because she neglected one child, totally used the other as a pawn, and then like mentally and physically abused the other child. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. No, she was. I don't even know. Do they even say her name? No, no. I don't think she. She has. doesn't even have a name. Okay. The Archeron mom. And the dad, too. But, like, less so for the dad, I guess. I, don't but, know. I mean, the dad tried. No, he didn't. <laughs> he At didn't. the very end. He... At the very end, he dies, and we're all supposed to expect sympathy. I mean, like, at least, like, yeah, Elaine still, still cried. Elaine was crying, but, Elaine like. Elaine sat in a dark room <laughs> for, like, two weeks. I think the most toxic relationship is between the sisters, because yeah, uh, the sisters. Mero was sent out into the woods to like hunt, and the and other two would just fight over whatever she was fourteen. It's so bad. She's the youngest, was, honestly. Awesome. She's the young. I know. I always forget she's the baby of him. I always think she's the middle one. I always thought she was the when I like when because I found out about this on book talk. I always spent like. Oh, yeah, she's probably the oldest. No. And, but, no, she's the youngest. I always think she's the middle child because she was always the forgotten one by, like, her parents. And, like, Elaine always acts like the baby, so. That's what I always think. Yeah. I was like, she should be the middle one. But, uh. Okay. Mm. Um, Lucian and Tamlin. Lucian and everyone except Feyre, I guess. Even I, then. He, he wasn't that toxic of a person. He just, he, wrong he just, place, wrong time. Wrong place, wrong time. In the first Some book, bad he decisions. kind of felt toxic in the first part of the first book. Well, but he then, just was, like, suspicious. He was just, like... I always forget... I always forget that Timlin actually kidnapped Farah, And that Lucian helped. Technically... They just withhold information. Yes. Technically, she killed their friend, but, like, that was meant to... Keep no, making, like, they kidnapped her. Yeah, they did. A wolf comes up, and the family's like, there, take that her thing? child. Have you seen that thing where it's, like, Reese, like, is the one who, like, made Feyre fire the arrow? Have Not you seen yet. that? No. Oh, my God, on Pinterest, I see it all the time, because it's, like, um, it's, like, says when she fired it, she, like, didn't have control over her own hand, and there's, like, shadows around her, so people are, like... It was Reese self-consciously making the whole thing happen. Wait, shadows? That seems like an Asriel type of thing. No, no, I think it was just darkness. I forget. But something like that. That's like conspiracy. So many conspiracy theories in that series. <laughs> oh my god. But Lucian, wrong place, wrong time. Honestly. And, I mean, he kind of got his redemption arc. I mean... Have you seen those, like, him and... I don't even know. Vasa? 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 Okay. I, have, I ship I, one. No, no it's, it's the songbird lady. It's the songbird lady. It's I, the honestly, one who transforms into a bird at night. I, Swan I have anyone. a headcanon that a polyamorous relationship between Jurian, Lucian, and Vasa. No, Jurian's bad. Uh, he got better. I don't like him. I think they're all in, the, in their cottage. But, a um, band of exiles doing stuff. No, I think Vasa and Lucian all the way. The entire They're both plot. redheads. <laughs> I mean, the entire plot is lost to me, except for the characters and what happens between them. Okay, Are that you? actually makes sense. It makes sense. That's <laughs> yeah. like most of the series for me. Like, oh yeah, I remember that character. I don't really remember their name, but I remember the character. Okay. If you want to see beautiful artwork of a polyamorous relationship between Jurian, Vasa, and Lucian, go to Artie Wings. She is amazing, and she. What did she do? She made my dreams come true. What did she do? Um, also, like any other Sarah J. Mass ones, because like, if you go to did, you, Boss. did you guys read Crescent City? Not yet. It's on my TV. It was list. really good. Okay, so that one, like, that's a great example of, like, a good relationship between, like, two main lovers. Like, they were, it was, like, friends, but then it was also, like, like a total, I don't know, it was kind of a simp. And he was also a feminist icon. Like, people say Reese is a feminist <laughs> icon. I wouldn't put that away. No, it's not. What are you doing? I'm looking at the notes. Oh. Um, total. Uh, feminist icon right there, but everyone forgets about him because everyone loves Akatar so much and doesn't even pay attention to the other books. Except Throne of Glass, which I think is overrated. Mm. Yeah. 
Okay, I will, mm, but Rowan, no. Tricky subject, okay. I would like to say something before we move on. Mm-hmm. It's about Recent and Akatar. Recent and Akatar was kind of toxic, he I was mean. totally toxic. What are you talking he about? He was completely toxic, and this quote shows it. They stripped me naked, bathed me roughly, and to my horror, they began painting my body. Yeah. The yeah. two high fae ignored my demands to be clothed in something else, but held my hands firm when I tried to rip the shirt off. He basically forced two girls to dress bear up well, under the mountain. And like, they work for him. They work for him. And they knew it was him. And everyone was talking to the mountain. And then what flows is a party where Resand forces her to drink what is essentially drugged wine. And then she dances with him in a scene that is analogous. It is. Analogous to date rape. She blacks out and wakes up with the only smudged lines on her body to tell her what she has done, or rather, what has been done to her. Her agency is ripped away from her. Okay, that's a tricky subject there because you could look at it like five ways. Not even two. You could look at it five. Um, it was hard because it was under the mountain. Mm-hmm. It was all an act because we all know that's not really who he is. Mm-hmm. He was trying I to mean, in the ne- I know, mean, that's the thing. Like In the next book. It was also not taunting Tamlin, but kind of like, dude, do something. And then he also talks about, like, personal boundaries in the next were kind book. of a thing. And then... This... And then they say, to compare an Akamath, what it is... Oh, he does Farrah a lot of stuff. Consents, consents to being dressed in order to enter the Court of Nightmares. Yes. And is willing to... And willing enters an exhibitionist scene with Reese, if under very flimsy plot purposes. Yeah, I don't even know what they go there for. <laughs> this time, the scene is in- in- acted with consent. In fact, her and Reese have discussed their actions beforehand and its established limits. He apologized in advance for it. For this game, we for the roles we have to play. Farrah is the one who makes this choice. Yeah. So, I mean... So, I guess just, like, trust. Also, I'm actually reading a fan fiction right now of the whole Akamath from Reese's point of view, and it's actually pretty true. To the story. It's pretty good. I binge read it for like four hours yesterday. Um, and okay, moving on. No more Sarah T. Mass. No more, no more Akatar. If we want to talk, throw in a glass, fine, but. I mean, no, no, no. That, just, that was not that great of a series. Just not Arab- worth it. Thank you. I'm still, thank you. I'm still reading it, but like. Someone the, finally But the first something. part of the book is. The first, like the first two, I'm like, what is happening? Elaine. Oh, no, no, Elaine. Ugh. Elide. Yeah. Elide and Lorcan were the best, okay. too. I think... I'm gonna... I forget the name of her, but she was, like, the assassin from the Sand City or something. Oh, I liked her. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. She was good. Ansel? But that was kind of yeah, a yeah, toxic relationship. Ansel. That was then, toxic. Ro- kind of toxic? Not really, though, because she tried to protect her. And then she and then, ended up not killing her. And then Elaine... I mean... You didn't Elaine. even read... What? I read it in sixth grade. Did no, you didn't the read... The Assassin's Blade? You didn't read The Assassin's Blade. Oh, yeah. So you don't know... <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Hey, Lena. Okay. Um, Maybe I did. I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Shadow Hunters. I'm going to say it. Oh, wait. And uh, Before you say it, Lena has read The Mortal Instruments, but not The Infernal Devices, and you read The Dark Artifices. Yes. So, no Infernal Devices talk. Okay. No, they were terrible. I, you only read the first one. <laughs> Read part of the second one. <laughs> That's what Adele did too. Okay. So bad. So I can't talk about James and Cordelia. No. Okay. Actually, you can dabble, but like, not really. Okay. So as much I feel like I'm gonna get a bunch of hate for this, but Magnus and Alec in City of Lost Souls. <laughs> Lena's like. I'm gonna hold the table. I'm gonna, <laughs> She's gonna the table. The table. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, no. As soon as Alec realized Magnus had many exes, he like did so much. She's like. I want to take your Im- immortality away. He didn't even consent, Magnus. He's like, he did this behind Lena, Magnus's back. Lena wants to say something. <laughs> Lena, spit it out. <laughs> yes, he did behind Magnus's back, but, like, what do you do when you find out your 500-year-old partner has, like, a 500 exes and was a little bit of a, I can't say that on here. Um, <laughs> he, he definitely did not just date people. He did other things many, oh, yeah. many times. But, like, it's weird because he's 500 years old and he's like, who's Will Herondale? Like, he's he got Alex's ju- first boyfriend. Like, duh, he panicked. Duh, he panicked. But, did, like, he, he should have talked like, no. about it. They probably should have had a conversation about it. Do you want to sit down with your 500-year-old boyfriend and be like, listen, I know you've <laughs> dated people, so are you going to dump me? I mean, 
at least relationships should have like i know i look like your past boyfriends and exes (laughs) but but are you gonna dump me (laughs) anyway okay so like Mm, and I, I don't feel know like if I would it call was kind of necessary for the redemption in City of Heavenly Fire. Like, when they... The redemption in that. Those last three books just, like, blend together for me. That's what Like, they, the first three just blend together. Actually, th- City of Glass is its own category, but... <laughs> it's just so bad. The first two blend. <laughs> this, the third one's there. And then the last three just, like, become one. Especially the fifth. Just fifth, the mansion scene I cannot City even, of Glass. I just remember certain scenes and... You know those scenes that I remember. <laughs> I don't remember anything else. <laughs> just, just little like, oh yeah, I've heard about that. Okay. Sebastian and Clary. I feel like we have to talk about it. Sebastian? Yeah. Sebastian. I think he was kind of toxic. Lena, what do you think? <laughs> Lena. <laughs> I am a little uh, too opinionated on this one. Someone else on the <laughs> Um, Yeah. With. Okay, I'm going to say Sebastian and Jocelyn. That was a bad family relationship. Just the, f- just like she abandoned him. I was like, I don't care if your son, son was a, a demon. I'm like, I don't care if your son was a demon. Don't she abandon him. She black eyes and, <laughs> was like, and really she was like, ah! she's like, uh, no, no. Wait, have no. you guys seen the movie? I think it was where like there was a clip that showed her looking into his eyes and then panicking and running away. Oh no, Allison no. probably looked away during that because yeah. she the movie was like kind of creepy. She, she the little she, child was, demon. No, but the little child it was a horror movie. It wasn't a horror movie. I just don't like horror movies. Um, don't laugh at me. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sebastian and Jocelyn was bad. Jocelyn and Valentine was bad. Uh, anybody Sebastian in a relationship with a Valentine? Was bad. Wait, wait, wait. What about the Valentine one that they talked? Jace was bad. They were all bad. Wait, I remember wait. Shadow, the Tales from Shadow Hunter Academy. It was, I think it was like the Wayland and um, Al- Alex's father. And the Wayland had a crush on Alex's, fa- Alex's father, oh, Robert. Yeah. And like. Michael Wayland or whatever Michael, his name was, had Michael a crush on Robert. Michael had a crush on Robert. Robert. And like, it was, it blew up. That's why he was so homophobic. You know, there's, I, I think, the, probably the most toxic relationship in there, besides the obvious one with, like, Sebastian and Valentine, <laughs> um, is the one between uh, Chase and Clary when they were siblings. That was so... Or, like, when they thought they were siblings. <laughs> for, like, a month. Wait, what was it? Like, a, not it even... one book. For, I think it was one book. No, for three months. Three for months. three months? Really? So, no, so I think they skipped a lot of time. keep their hands off each other. It was not good. <laughs> that was so weird. I hated that, that part. so strange. Too. And then he, like, ran away. Or is it later? I think, yeah, he just ran away. Or when he was accidentally, like, murdering her in his dreams. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Jace has some issues. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, um, Jamie. Can, can we just is... rank the Harrendales for a second? Okay, number, uh, number one is Will Harrendale. No, no, no. you gotta do backwards. Oh, oh, and four number is four is James. James. Sure. Like, redemption? <laughs> I don't know. Semi-redemption? Then it's, then it's Jace. Jace. No, it's Will. Mm-hmm. Twelve. No, no. What is wrong with the you? Balls to ask <laughs> oh, it was, you says. didn't even read the second book. Yeah, no, you don't. Have, no, he you waited don't until his best friend was in love with her, and then he proceeded to do something about it. Mm, not quite, but okay. Sure. Will Harrendale goes for the top for me. Sorry. Okay. Then it's Jace is number three. Then it's Kit, Kit who's number. better than Jace. Yeah, and I'll, James. I'll there. And then Will is better oh. than all of them. Then Sorry. Will's, Will's the rank. I think the cool thing about him is he's only half shadow hunter. Yeah. He's not even full blooded. Oh, then, and then Emma obviously is better than all of them combined. Yeah. Duh. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. William. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can I just Keep say something? Moving. Okay. James and Cordelia, honestly, just that relationship was highly toxic with James, like being like, I'm not in love with you, but then kissing her five seconds later. He was being an idiot. It, it was kind of. I guess he's not really bad. He's just an idiot. She's just an idiot, but that relationship was toxic. <laughs> they got married. Oh, they shoot. got married. Chain of Iron spoilers. <laughs> Shadow Hunters, whoops. <laughs> You're still Lita's listening. You haven't read it. Sorry. I'm never going to read it. <laughs> and Lena hasn't read them um, yet. Whatever. I only, I only read it for Emma and Julian, my beloveds. <laughs> <laughs> you get Emma's great, great, great. That's too many. Uncle. That's not no interest. <laughs> yeah, church is in it. It's fine. Church is in it. Church Maybe is I'll in read it. it then. Okay, church I is love in church. it. Church. Church is in all of them. Church is literally in every book in the series. Um, he is an icon. Okay, ready? I think we should just 
talk about off campus. Okay. We can, yes. I also have some red, white, and royal blue and red queen. Oh, who do you have for red, white, and royal blue? I want to hear this. The queen and Philip. Oh, yeah. I, I hate did them. not write those down, but. They were bad. You need to read Red, White, Royal Blue. Also, Ellen list. and Mr. Diaz, like his mom and dad, that divorce was an ugly <laughs> divorce. That was bad. Oh, this is Red, White, and Blue, Blue Spoilers, which is very good, by the way. Please read it. Um, but it was it was pretty bad. Um, Henry's I, whole family, except his sister and mom. Be, okay. I feel like with Philip, he, like, has, he thinks that everything has to be in a certain way. And that the fact that Henry is doing it in a different way is upsetting him because he's because um, Philip was forced to do it a certain way. Like he didn't want to have children, but he has to have children. Well, true. So he's just really mad that it has to be this, that Henry gets to finally have a different way. Yeah, um, it's just like mm. and the queen. Oh, I guess queen. she's old fashioned. Whatever. She like um, she okay. said it was okay to be gay, but like most, just don't tell anybody. <laughs> most of the off campus ones are um, parent things, parents, and they happened before the books. All the guys got daddy issues, except for like one Dean. Or who was well, that? Dean, Dean he doesn't have any. Dean, I mean Tucker can't have daddy issues because did he? He die? ain't got a he, yeah. His father that died when he had t- when he was right two. There. If you don't have a father, <laughs> that's an issue. Like, have okay, wait. Okay, issues. Garrett has major Your daddy issues. In, Logan. It's usually mommy issues because she passed away. And Dean. Then... Dean. So, yeah. Garrett, Logan, Tucker. Tucker. Not Dean. Dean's Dean. family's the only one that's like a whole family. Yeah, and the, the dude's still like complaining. <laughs> <laughs> He's a rich millionaire in New York and he still complains. Um, but I have I pro- Logan's dad at the beginning of the book. Okay, here's mine. And then he kind of gets better. The know. Logan family's very kind of toxic. Like, I hate how, like... His mom uh, what's doesn't the help. His name? mom doesn't help. It doesn't, his mom is bad. She's not even in the book. His, Wait, what's the brother's name? Oh, I hated that name. Oh, what's his name? Oh, it's, it's an awful name. That's all I remember. No, you can't Google it. Like, there's no information on it. There's not Wait, even no, a wiki. Kindle Cloud Reader. Wait, are you going to find it? Yes. Okay. While you guys do that, Logan's dad was bad at the beginning, and then his mom was just really bad, like, throughout the whole thing. Okay. And if you, those of you who, like, don't know, um, Logan's dad was disabled in a car accident, and then he got a really ugly divorce, and then he became a pretty much raging alcoholic who couldn't even, like... It's not in the... Jeff. His name's Jeff. Oh, oh. I knew it was a terrible name. Oh, this is a terrible name. <laughs> sorry, if anyone's Jeff. name's Jeff and <laughs> listening. No, but sorry if anyone's listening. It's just John and Jeff don't go great together. John and Jeff. Um, and Garrett's dad. Garrett's, Garrett's dad is bad. Garrett's dad? No, no, no. Here's the thing with his dad. I remember the legacy. Garrett's trying to say, no, I don't want to do this TV special with you. But his dad keeps pushing it on him and pushing it on him. That eventually Garrett has to say, I have to do this. Yeah. He's like... And then he walks out. He walks out because of... He walks out because he physically abused him. And mentally. And then, um, honestly... And his mom. The dad well, felt mom like... Died. And Cindy. The, that's the... That was like Old his, girl. The ex-girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel I bad for that. her, too. That was like, oh... <sighs> I remember his. He said that he felt like a trophy. He felt he, he felt like a trophy for his dad. Like he and his mom felt like an actual object. Yeah. And with used like. I feel objects. like even more his mom. The mom was used as an object. And then she passed away, which was sad. But um, I have right here on my notes, Garrett's dad is an all around abusive and terrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. About sums up. Although I do want to make a little good note here. This is a healthy relationship. Grace's parents are in a divorce. But they're but, friends. But they're in a happy divorce. Like, they, they knew they weren't good together. So it, they so, wanted them to go live in France and be, like, an 18-year-old the rest of her life, which is fine. She helped her daughter explore that side. And then her dad's, like, a stuck-up. Not stuck-up. But he's strict. He's the... Strict. He's not that strict. I don't like... Well, the, he's, like, more definitely more controlling than the mother. Is it, no, not even controlling. Just, like... Not boring, but... He's like the nerdy dad. Is, yeah, he's like the nerdy dad. <sighs> Do you have any more? Okay. And I have one more. I have a bunch Which is more. controversial, but... Oh okay. my God. I have a bunch more, but I like, want... Like, maybe do two more. Okay, two more. And then Connor and Taylor. <sighs> <sighs> 
sorry if Allie just blasted your eardrums. That was her screaming in frustration because she hates Connor and Taylor so much. I want to murder them. I think it's Whoa. more. We, we I think it's more. Ta- I think it's more Taylor. No, no, no! It's Connor as well. Oh, it's just Equality. the both of them together. I don't. Is that toxic though? Okay, I what's toxic about it? Tell me. The miscommunications, like. Okay. They had two miscommunications mis- in the span of their three-month relationship. That's impressive. <laughs> That's impressive, is it right? <laughs> That's a miscommunication every one and a half months. That's bad. Like. Exactly. I don't know. I didn't love the dare. It was probably my least favorite of it's all of them. It's my least favorite. And the goal exists. And the goal exists. Okay. Enough off campus. Lena, you read Red Queen. First three? First two. Uh, I, I read like four of them, I think. There's only four. I don't you know. You didn't read the last one. It must have not have. Okay. I'll say three. Allie has read zero, zero. of them. <laughs> so, hey, shame on you. It's so I'm, good. I'm bi- you, you give me a recommendation every other day. No. First one was good. The rest of them kind of suck. If you want a rep- If you want a recommendation, that is like... Girls run the world, yeah. Read Red Queen. The boys are totally useless. That's Cal not even an exaggeration. Totally They're all useless. Was nope. a god, and then well, I can't oh no, say but that. Alara like literally controlled him the whole time, so he didn't even do anything. Yeah, yeah. So Maven. So Maven pregnant. is kind of toxic, and I know people say like Mayor Even is so toxic, but like Mayor Cal is also kind of toxic because Mayor Cal is boring. But is boring better than toxic? I mean, I know you like Maven. <laughs> he was just like a little screwed up in the head. A little? He just had his mo- issues. Alara was bad. She but literally like, like was she broke him. <laughs> Cal like, was also stupid. He was like a robot. He didn't he didn't think for himself. He was, that was he was boring, but he was also stupid. So <laughs> that's not a good combination. Smart and manipulative is better than stupid and boring. But was Maven really smart? Yeah, he took it away. He took the kingdom away from Cal. In, like, two minutes. It took, like, two minutes in his mom. And he's like, hey, mom. Mm. <sighs> Maven was a little not great in the head. Okay. How about you guys read Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover? Not no, yet. it's on my list. Well, I was going to say that uh, Tate and Miles is a... Well, it, start, it, it was toxic. It was really toxic. <laughs> That's not good. But it had a good ending. Um, oh, my God. I can't remember their names. Um, from also Colleen Hoover. Um, it ends with us. I the main character, yet. I don't know her name, I feel so bad, but the main character... Isn't it, and, like, Lily or something? Or? Oh, yeah, it is Lily. And then, um, the guy, not Atlas, the other Riles? guy. Yeah, that guy. That was so bad. <laughs> it was so toxic. That's, like, top five most toxic recommendations. Because it's, like, it happens in the real world. Like, it's not even fantasy. It's, like, actual... So love. Physical... Yeah. Abuse. Like, essentially, the plot of I Really Love is Tate, um, well, she meets this guy, Miles, friends with her brother, and then she yep. slowly falls for him, and he has so much trauma in his past that you find out throughout the story because it switches perspectives. Oh, that's cool. And, yeah, so. Okay. And then well, at the end, he finally comes around after they have issues and break up. I mean, Lily and Alice was better than Lily and Rylan because reasons. <laughs> Um, okay, last one. Cruel Prince. Oh. You read it? It's on my, it's on my bookshelf okay, right okay. now. It's on your bookshelf. How can it be on your bookshelf and you not read it? Because it doesn't have... You have, never, have you ever met a reader? It doesn't oh, yeah, no, I have, like, six on my bookshelf that I haven't read. Okay, but, like, it doesn't have jalapenos in it, so... <laughs> that's probably why I haven't read it yet. Exactly. Jalapenos. <laughs> Um, not spicy enough. So, oh, Taryn, is, Taryn is bad. Yes. Sorry. Our toxic, cool friend spoilers. Our warning. toxic queen. Taryn is bad. Our toxic queen. For like 10 reasons. She's dumb. She's stupid. She's an idiot. She gets <laughs> pregnant. What? You don't remember that? No. She gets, she's pregnant. Is that a toxic trait? Now I'm getting pregnant. <laughs> I'm just unaware of that. Um, <laughs> she gets pregnant? <laughs> oh wait oh wait wait what no she she kills you know who yeah after she found out she was <laughs> oh i just remembered another really toxic character uh, oh uh, who? i can't pronounce her name but here here it is it's from oh evangeline no she wasn't toxic she you was didn't read the, the last book so you can't say she was toxic well, in the beginning she in was the beginning toxic. she was this total like not yeah nice she was, she was a 
witch with a B. Um, she was, yeah, she was engaged to Cal, right? Yeah. And then she was engaged to Maven, and then she was engaged to Cal again, and then she eventually and ended then she up... And she was gay. <laughs> she was... Um, like, she's one of those characters that you hate in the beginning, and then you end up rooting for her the whole time at the end. So, she's actually pretty cool. I like her. She stood up to her family at the end, but her family is totally bad. Yeah. She was good, though. Eventually, I love the part that she was, like, a total gay icon the entire time. <laughs> like, she was a jerk, but she was awesome. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. With, um, wait, not Elaine. Uh, no. Is it Elaine? Oh my god, what's your girlfriend's name? I don't remember. She was She's awesome, boring. though. Anyway, I love her. Later, name. Tara reveals to Jira that she is pregnant with Locke's child and the queen of nothing. The ghost asks Tara to lock him in the dungeons and prevent him from killing Cardin as per orders from Maddox. But there was she, so much family drama in that series. There, I should have walked some of it out. Fa- it could just be... It could be the new Kardashians, honestly. It, it would be the new Kardashians. Kardashians. It would be the new card. There, there's so much family before the kids. There was so much drama before the kids. And then there's so much drama with the kids. And then there's so much drama after the parents. But all Whoa. their names still start with K. Can't be the Kardashians. <laughs> can we be keeping up no, with the Jude, Jude and Taryn and... Two. Okay, Cardin and Jude wasn't that toxic. People would disagree with me, but... I mean, it it's not as it toxic so as other more. relationships. We know... You know who we're talking about, but... Okay. We're going to circle that? back to Tamlin. <laughs> <Why would, laughs> okay, why not? <laughs> Something. He just started an end there with him. We'll, we'll end with him. Also, a- quick note. Who, sh- who ships? Oh, real. I, if any of you raise your hand, you might get slapped. I'm warning you. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> if you do you ship El real? It's Ew. Elaine and Azriel. I mean, I do wonder. She kind of sets it up that way, but Elaine just... Doesn't deserve anyone. Thank you. <laughs> Allie, would you like to say something? <laughs> I don't know why she set it up like that. We all know Azriel and Gwen are like, like, no, Azriel was told to stay off a lane. And then so the first person he runs to, Gwen. That's kind of Azriel like, just needs love in his life. Yeah. He just needs someone. And I think Gwen would be good because of all of her yeah. past trauma. And, he's, and she's like. Because she's a survivor. Yeah. And, tech- uh, sexual and, abuse, they could, so. and she could kick his butt. Yeah, true. And she could, because he taught her how. And they could yeah. be mates, honestly, because, like... No, but she's not Faye. Is she only half? Who Wait, knows? she half Faye? I mean, but... She's Feyre, half water Feyre Feyre that's all I know. Still, Feyre and yeah, Reese were still... She's half Faye, Faye. half... Oh. Priest type right? priestess. Oh my god, wait, but then they can't have kids. Unless Nesta... Act- unless she did it for her, too. Because we all know she didn't do, like, the thingy at the end of Silver Flames. We all know she didn't do it for... That to that. Elaine. So either that's going to be a plot point where Elaine dies. Yay! Stop cheering. It's or Elaine dying. Not. Boo. She's not that bad. I just don't know who I want her to end up with. I don't. Not Azriel or Lucian or um, Eris. Well, Lucian's or also kind of boring. No offense <laughs> should we, should we Maybe put Tamlin. Tamlin? <laughs> No, okay, now some... I'm taking offense to that. Okay, actually, no. Even Tamlin. Even Tamlin would be like, ah, and no. Uh, eh, no. No. Tamlin would get so upset with her stupid flowers, <laughs> he would just go full wolf. She'd be like, no, but, hey, but no, but he's, but he's a spring, so maybe he wouldn't. Maybe she'll, like, bring life back to the spring. That would be so. You know something? We do not Part want. Part of me is like, She no. already has, like, look. Depression from being moved around so often. You think moving her to the spring <laughs> court would make it any better? Hey, dumb. He like literally knocked down her door. <laughs> I always forget about that. Love that too. first knock. Or smash through the door. And then he wiped other memories. That was weird. Okay, there was zero plot to any of those books. <laughs> Except maybe the last one. No, not the last one. The last no, one, the last no, one had no plot. No, no. With the, the first plot, Echo plot, I got so confused on. The second one, I'm like, okay, I kind of understand, but I kind of don't. The third one, it had a stable plot about a war. The third one was the only one with a semi Now, Silver plot. Flames. I can <laughs> tell, I can recite to you exactly what happened in each of those scenes. But I cannot <laughs> tell you the plot of that book. But, like, all that was important was the three friends and Cassian. But that was it. Oh, you and know, us like being Nesta and the, the Valkyries. Yeah, and then they were great. Like, the Cassian whole thing with the friendship Nesta. bracelets, that was cute. And the blood whatever. What's it called? Allie, help me out here. Wait, the blood oath? The blood right? The blood Same right. <laughs> Same thing. Okay. Same thing. Okay, we should probably wrap it up. We should probably. This is. Okay, I am sorry if you're still listening to us. I know, just listen to us. 
talk <laughs> for an extra 10 minutes so sorry we try to keep it short but it looks like we're gonna have to we're gonna have speed to up. all right okay. thanks for listening and thanks lena for coming on yeah with us. thanks would you like to say goodbye bye <laughs> we'll have you on right. again soon bye